Hey guys, so I love to get outside. Whether it's hiking, mountain biking, skiing, camping, or just driving. And speaking of driving, I use my Subaru to get around pretty much everywhere. So here are the updates to my 2012 Subaru Forester that I've made to make it better and more comfortable for camping, hiking, biking, skiing, driving. Let me know in the comments what updates you've made to your vehicles to make them more comfortable for outdoor exploration, adventuring, stuff. So the very first update I ever made was, oh that's great, simply adding crossbars to the roof rack. This opens up a variety of different possibilities from rooftop tents, bike racks, cargo boxes like this one right over here. I use a rooftop tent most often when I'm camping in Forester. The next thing I did was to have a hitch installed. I've used different racks from hanging racks, platform racks, and rooftop racks. The platform rack is my favorite. This one is actually only $150 on Amazon. It can hold two bikes and you can also easily add on the tray to put four bikes onto it. It folds up this way and it folds up vertically so that you can get it out of the way when you don't have a bike on. The other nice thing about it is that I can still open up the trunk when the bike rack is on and folded up. Moving on here, another super cheap modification was to put Plasti Dip on all of the rims, protecting the rims, but also just making it look black, which I think is cooler. Um, yeah, it's cheap. I like the look. That's about it. I also stuck Plasti Dip on the grill. Same story. It's cheap. I like the look. It's protecting it. That's what it is. All right, and now we're on to the most expensive upgrade. I put Falcon Wild Peak AT Trail tires on here. It does cut down slightly on the miles per gallon, but gives you some more assurance, better traction when you're driving down access roads, dirt roads. They are more expensive than standard tires, but I did save about $400 by doing a price match with discount tire. And I'll put a link down in the bottom to show you how you can do that as well. Also took these little $10 mud guards uh, from Amazon, stuck a mountain sticker on it, and uh, I kind of think it looks pretty cool. If you're taking a moment to check out that link down there, now would actually be a great time to subscribe. <laughs> oh boy. All right, on to the good stuff. This next mod was actually completely free to me because I had some junk laying around that I could use. built out this divider with all free wood or wood that I had with storage underneath and pull out tables for cooking while you're camping or you're at the trail. Now I've used this a lot of times to make coffee, um, pull one side out, cook. Um, I've even used this as a stand-up table uh, for working at the trailhead one time. This setup can also be expanded to be a platform for sleeping on one side, the other side, or both. Okay, lastly, I've got a few things that I've picked up over time. I've got this 12 volt powered compressor for pumping up your tires if you air down to go off road or on a dirt road or something that's particularly bumpy. I've got this kit for punctures, uh, plugging punctures, just like a bike puncture. Uh, bacon strips, uh, new valve, things like that, and uh, lubricant, etc. Uh, super important to have if you're far away from people or amenities uh, and you have a flat. And another thing that is nice to have when you're far away is uh, I have this power pack. One, it can charge your things like your phone, etc. Um, but also you can plug this in and hook this up and jump your battery or charge your battery if your battery dies. Uh, it works in about 45 seconds typically uh, when I've had to use it and you can charge it by just plugging it in um, to your car while you're driving. So often I keep this plugged in in the back here uh, when, yeah, when I'm driving going somewhere where it would be bad to have a dead battery. I also picked up this blanket 
You can get three packs on Amazon for like 15 bucks. Uh, and super nice, useful. Another good idea to have when you're far away from things. Last thing, I use these Instacrates uh, from Costco. They actually do fit underneath that platform that I put in the back. There you have it guys, those are all the upgrades on my 2012. Oh, I forgot one. <laughs> I put this tarp on, you can pull it off over the passenger side. Um, and then I actually set up the rooftop tent to go off the other side. It's super useful to have more space other than just hiding under the hatch uh, when it's raining outside. Um, but if you guys have any tips, tricks, mods that you've made, let me know in the comments. And last thing, a shout out to uh, Soft Roading the Northwest um, because I've watched a ton of his videos about Subaru mods and uh, Chase Christopher as well. Um, watched a ton of theirs before I did anything on mine. And last thing, I promise, please subscribe, like the video if you can. If not, that's all right. Cheers, guys. Catch you on the trails.